What's up? Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am PJ. So we're going to take a little drive and uh, whenever I drive more than an hour away from home, uh, we take some extra things. Probably guess what was in that case. This right here, you may have seen before, this is my Minuteman bag and uh, I designed this bag. I conceptualized this bag. I was a co-designer with Cody at Sojourn Gear. It's designed to hold three magazines, uh, a bottle of water, a first aid kit, and a couple little uh, extra things. And it's something that you can just hang with your rifle. And when the bump in the night or something happens, grab your rifle, grab your bag, and go. And so that's coming, but there's good news. The Minuteman bag has been new and improved and uh, some modifications have been made to it. And it is once again available at SojournGear.com. And I'm going to show you the new one. SojournGear.com. I really like this concept, not just because I designed it. This one you'll see has three straps on it. We're going to get inside of it here in a minute. And that is so, you know, if you wanted to, you could unhook this. You can sling it across your body. Take this strap, bring it around this way. And it's all adjustable and it keeps it from shifting around on your body, right? If you don't want to do that, you can remove the entire strap. No big deal, which I'm going to do for the demonstration. If you're not familiar with Sojourn gear, it's top end. You cannot sew any better or with any better materials uh, than they do. Made in America by Americans. A uh, Fastex type buckle. I'm not sure who makes it. it. Says GSI on it. And then the bag itself, and let me put it on the way I wear it. I primarily shoot this way, and so this is where I get my magazines to reload, right here. Can you see it? Yep, like that. And this has some extras that I'm going to show you later. Put these here to demonstrate. Ah, I know, I know. All right, so on the inside, in the back, there's a panel uh, that you can stick three magazines in, three rifle magazines. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's elastic. They're tight in, they're not quick in, they're tight in so that they're where you need them when you pull them out to reload. Um, but this panel is now adjustable. You can take it out and replace it with other panels, which I'm going to show you. There's also a pocket right here sewn in uh, with a bungee cord on it so you can loosen it or tighten it. This was the original Nalgene bottle. Uh, section. You could stick a radio in there, uh, anything, you know, about the size of a Nalgene bottle. Um, this new and improved version, you can get accessories such as this. What is this? Oh, well, what would you put in a bag like this? Would you put your first aid supplies in here? Would you put uh, special documents? Would you put uh, hundreds, hundred dollar bills? Whatever. But it's tied down, and you can untie it if you want. It's tied down so it's it won't get lost in the confusion when you're using your bag. Now, I showed you the panel that I have in here, which is the, uh, the three rifle magazine panel. There's other panels that you can use. You can use a single uh, magazine pouch. Like this, it's adjustable uh, for height, depending on what size magazine you wanna use. It has the standard uh, bungee cord to, to hold it in, and it Velcros kick onto your back panel if you want. Also, handgun magazine 
uh, pouch that'll also go on that back panel. And why do you want it to go on the back panel instead of just floating all around in here? Because some things you want them where they are always in the same position so you can grab them without looking. You don't want to have to root around and, and look in your bag like that. This is a perfect size bag. Um, like I said, the panel in the back holds three magazines. You could put drums in here. You could put double stacked magazines just in the bag part. You could fill this thing with all kinds of goodness. <clears throat> the original one, and I have it loaded like the original. I have a, a bear fac, like version one in there. I have a Nalgene bottle of water because you get thirsty when these things happen. And I have three magazines in the back panel. And then I have uh, two double stacked magazines also inside of it so i have a fair amount of ammo for joe civilian a nice thing about this is you can use it like a dump pouch too again this top has a shock cord in it and it's adjustable but you can just take a magazine out drop it in your bag grab one off the back panel reload and you're good to go so this is the minuteman bag designed conceptualized and half designed by me, and then this latest version improved uh, by Cody. Has uh, loops back here that you can attach various things. You could take this off if you wanted to. It has just little details, like, do you see this elastic to take, you know, if you wanna make it shorter, this will handle your uh, slack keep everything neat and tidy where it's supposed to be. This is adjustable up and down. Cody is like six, seven, I'm not. And uh, so, you know, this needs to be in a different place for every person. But this is the Minuteman bag. I will put a link uh, down below when, uh, when this thing's ready to go. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm going to show this on my Patreon channel first. I'm gonna give them first dibs at it because there is not an unlimited supply. This is made by Americans in America. It's not made in some sweatshop overseas where they're just cranking out cheap bags by the thousands. Um, and so I'm gonna announce it on Patreon first. And then if Cody tells, tells me that he still has a couple left, then I'm gonna announce them here on YouTube uh, or on YouTube. And I will just tell you this, if you want one, and I know implied scarcity is a sales technique. I'm not telling you for that. I'm telling you because I have helped Cody sell things in the past and this will be gone. He will sell out. Uh, so I'll put a link down below the Minuteman bag. Just what you need, nothing that you don't. Has a grommet in the bottom. Just little attention to detail like that for water to come out when you're doing your stream crossing with your Minuteman bag on. Right. All right. I appreciate y'all. If you don't have one, I highly recommend it. I now have two. All right. I'll see you out there.